this session, we will first invite the moderators of the parallel discussion sessions to report back the, moder the fruitful discussions at their breakout sessions. Then, Professor Kaho Mok, Vice President, Ningnan University, will give a summary of the Jockey Club President's roundtables and deliver a concluding remarks. To enable more educators, students, and other stakeholders in the society to have a fruitful discussion about liberal arts education in Asia in this conference, we will do a live broadcast of the closing session at Ling Lan University YouTube channel. May I first invite Dr. Yoon to do a brief report on a discussion about the collaboration areas of academic and research collaboration, please. Thanks, Dr. Yoon. Hello, uh, my name is Bo Seok Yoon, uh, Iwa uh, Women's University. Uh, I, uh, I chaired uh, this uh, discussion session uh, focusing on the uh, academic and research collaboration. And I have uh, three uh, uh, things to report. The first thing is uh, to, to promote this research collaboration, it might be a good idea to uh, start with a symposium or conference on particular area of research so that uh, you know, uh, scholars uh, get to know each other first. Uh, okay? And uh, um, actually several uh, participants uh, expressed interest in the area of uh, linguistic and translation. Uh, so, um, Later, uh, uh, Lung uh, uh, from Lingnan will uh, will host uh, a, a conference in the future. <laughs> so, <laughs> not, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, if you are interested in, uh, you should contact uh, Rachel. <laughs> I hope alliances can uh, can support uh, such uh, activities. Um, the second thing is, um, I, I guess the, this, this alliance is primarily uh, among uh, Asian universities, but uh, 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 universities outside of Asia, like Eastern Europe, uh, expressed interest in participating in the alliance in one way or another. So ask, asked about uh, whether uh, associate membership is, is possible. Uh, that was the the second uh, issue brought about. Uh, and the third and final uh, um, uh, thing to report is uh, uh, there were uh, some scholars from Cambodia and Vietnam. Uh, I guess they represent uh, kind of uh, underdeveloped countries and uh, the role of uh, liberal art, uh, arts education in, in, in those countries in that context. And, what the alliance can do uh, to promote uh, liberal art education in, in, in those countries and what alliance can do for that. And so they were the, they were the three things that I, I uh, wanted to report. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jung, for your report. Next, may I invite Professor Mark to make a summary on a discussion session about entrepreneurship, internships, and civic engagement in the Jockey Club President's Roundtable discussions and deliver a concluding remarks for us. Professor Mark, please. Uh, thanks for joining this concluding section. Uh, during our break up uh, discussion is a fascinating one especially when colleagues from not only from Asia, but also from US and other parts of the world have been very committed to work together to promote more collaboration for enhancing student learning. This is a very much the central spirit, I think, for liberal arts education, is to work together for education. Work together for education. So I think the launch of the Alliance for Liberal Arts University in Asia it's not an exclusive, you know, uh, boy or girls club. It's a platform for encouraging and promoting, you know, collaboration. When we are facing increasing complex issues these days, we cannot, you know, be working only by ourselves as an only single institutions. We truly believe in collaboration. We can bring people's talents and pick the brains of individuals, institutions together for enhancing you know, student learning and also finding better solutions for future. 
So I'm glad that you know colleagues from the states, from other parts of the world, suggest they would be more than happy to work together with the alliance member institutions. And this is precisely we want to promote this platform as a kind of consortium in Asia and working with our colleagues from Europe and also from America. And during our conversation, I just highlight a few. If I miss anything, I hope that my colleagues in the group can you know, add on after my you know, uh, summary. We are very keen to promote student learning, uh, particularly we are talking about in what way we can facilitate student mobility through the summer program. And we are very serious about internship and also civic engagement. So it come to our conclusion that we would like to share information across institutions through the Alliance platform. So yesterday during the board meeting, we agreed that Lingland University is very honored to be the service leader in the next two years by working as a secretariat by you know, developing a website, sharing information with our institution, they are foundation member, but also other member. If, if you want to join the platform and also hyperlinks our website. For this platform, we would like to share about ideas and programs. And in our conversation, we found that so many interesting programs during the summer organized anyway by individual institutions. We will very much hope that it becomes a kind of information hub through the website and through the secretary to share with you and the information and we welcome you know, your students to join hands in the programs. This is first. Second, uh, we are uh, also talking about in what way we can enhance student learning through entrepreneurship. So it's, it's one of the models, it's not the exclusive model, would be using the summer term or uh, student exchange and build in entrepreneurial or internship experience. And given different institutions or countries may have different regulations and uh, rules governing student exchange, we are very much you know, respectful about the arrangements of individual institutions getting involved in the platform. So the idea is, would we creatively make use of the exchange program, no matter they are summer or term time exchange, by building in additional you know, activity for students like entrepreneurship or internship. And it would be uh, most welcome. And some colleagues share about their existing program during the conversation. They very much you know, hope to uh, open up for our uh, sister institutions. Say one of the examples from Sophia University would be some kind of, you know, uh, Reefer management issue, am I right? David, am I? It's one of the examples that you know there's a 10 day uh, going to Southeast Asian, uh, an area to talk about, let students talk about management of Reefer and also get involved in the local community as a kind of you know, engagement and service. It's a fascinating idea, not only about exchange, but also doing something you know, benefiting the local community, which is daring to liberal arts education. So I just you know, highlight these two major areas that you know, uh, colleagues uh, during our conversation would be. The spirit is work together for you know, embracing diversity, but at the same time bring students together to learn from each other through the cultural, cross-cultural learning experience. And I'm, I'm very uh, honored that you know, during the, uh, the end of our conversation, it seems that to my group member, service learning seems to be a, one of the prominent themes they entrusted Lingnan University to organize an event and of conversation again, uh, focusing on service learning. So I would you know, seek my president to have the agreement because he's the one to find the funding sources. So I would like to you know, thank colleagues. Anything that I missed uh, is my fault. Uh, if you, uh, you have any additional point to, to, uh, to add, uh, please you know, feel free to add. Any, anything that I missed from the conversation? If not, may I allow, uh, invite uh, President Zhang uh, to have uh, a few concluding remarks of the section. Um, thank you, colleagues. Uh, the conference is coming to an end, and I cannot thank you enough for your participation. Uh, the distinguished uh, keynote speakers 
and uh, panelists and all our participants who raise questions and share. Um, we're coming to an end, but we hope that the uh, alliance that we just formed will begin to work. Now, of course, right now it's still an organization on paper only. Uh, Lingnan uh, hopefully would, uh, in, an, in the next year or so, uh, create some structure so that it can become more operational so that we can organize activities. Now, regarding the service learning, uh, in fact, that's where Lingnan has some experience. We were the first one to organize a um, Asian Regional Conference on Service Learning. And we organized, it was a biennial meeting. We organized it for the two first two times. Then the third time, went to Taiwan, Furen University, which is here. And the fourth time to a university in Indonesia. Uh, the name is just like Peter the Rock, right? I, Petra something. And so at that meeting, they lined up another four or five. So that means in the next 10 years, there will be organizers who volunteer to take the conference forward. So in that same spirit, I hope that after the first two couple of years for which we have stocky, uh, jockey club funding, uh, there will be other institutions that agree to take over and do it on a rotational basis. And uh, all uh, for the, uh, all for the, uh, you know, for the sake of cooperation, sharing, and working together. And as Kaho already mentioned, and uh, you know, this professor mentioned that there's a indication of potential interest from liberal institutions outside of Asia. I don't see why associate members cannot be, you know, admitted uh, to to join us. But these things we'll discuss uh, at the board meeting in, in, in future, right? So uh, with that, let me just say thank you one more time. Uh, I am really grateful to your contribution and your participation. And after this, we have lunch. And those that have time, uh, uh, you are welcome to visit Lingnan University and, uh, as part of the excursion. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, President Chen again. I would like to conclude uh, the conference by thanking some people. They are very important to make this event a uh, success. May I take uh, this opportunity to thank uh, uh, a group of very able ladies and gentlemen working closely behind uh, the scenes, uh, led by uh, Joanne Lai, uh, the Office for Global Education, and also our Professor, you know, Professor Sharma, he's the one leading the conference. Thank you very much. I won't, you know, forget this gentleman and lady, they are very capable MC to host the proceeding. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Mark. Thank you, Professor Jan.